in strictly economic terms, water use can define as a final good. For instance, if water used in produce another good or serve, service such as in the process of irrigation, then it can be viewed as an intermediate good. For, uh, however, if it is used directly by the final consumer, consume patients and uh, recreation purpose, then it can be viewed as a final good. The economic values for the different compet compet competing uses of water vary in that the consumer derives uti utility directly forms of the use of the water. Poor water uh, quality affects the health of the consumers advisedly. Accordingly, such people may suffer varied diseases associated with the water contamination, contamination such as typhoid, amoebias, and uh, dysentery. The cost of treating these diseases, including hospitalization, hospitalization charges are high and that can be avoided through ensuring that water quality is safe. Further, further the economic productivity of these people may be affected negatively and contribute to reduced economic output. This may even affect the standards of living of the people and subject them to economic strains that can be prevented through ensuring that water quality is maintained. An accurate illustration is in this regard. Flint water crisis that started in 2014 after the city of Flint resulted to use the Flint River rather than rather than the treated Detroit water and the Swagrid company as the water source. However, the water treatment was insufficient for human consumption and this led to the explosion of more than 100,000 residents to high lead levels in the drinking water. In conclusion, water is an economic good and should be recognized for its economic value with competing uses. Human beings have an inherent right to access to clean water at a price that, that and uh, access to clean water at a price that is affordable. And uh, since water quality has advised effects on the users and results in the incurrence of cost in addressing the negative effects of the water, therefore effective machinisms for maintaining good water quality should be put in place so as to ensure that such costs are not incurred.